Persona 4 The Animation Review is presented by The Anime Epic. Persona 4 The Animation is based on the popular video game franchise created by Atlas Japan, animated by the girls and gals at AIC Asta. Persona 4 follows Yu Narukami, a recently transferred student and his new friends, as they attempt to solve the mysterious chains of murders and kidnappings taking place in the quiet town of Inaba. Through their struggle, Narukami and gang will find out who they really are, attain the mysterious power of Persona, and use it to find the truth of these mysterious events. The plot of Persona 4 The Animation radiates originality in many ways and is able to pull the viewer in almost instantly due to the sharp character writing and the sense of style. AIC did a brilliant job adapting the video game into the anime format, keeping simple things like the daily calendar or going all out and melding social links with the main plot to make the story flow naturally. Every episode can be thrown into two different categories. There are the social link episodes. Oh, so done. Huh? あ、あ、もう。もしもし。あ、さい。彼女の電話なんだからコール<笑> and investigation team episodes. Investigation team episodes keep the main plot rolling and contain the more fantastical elements of the episodes. Although the action scenes are great, P4A does not serve out fighting scenes just to fill up time. They for the most part only do the boss battles which are the most important to move the plot forward of course. <laughs> Social Link episodes, on the other hand, contain much of the soul of the Persona series. 90% of them follow Yu Narukami, living his normal life with his friends and classmates. In these episodes, Yu will deal with relatable issues his friends and classmates are going through. These episodes can range from laugh out loud, hilarious, to depressing stories, all which blend into the main plot, as the bonds Yu made with these people give him greater power to defeat shadows. <laughs> Although the plot gets repetitive from time to time, kidnapping to a dungeon fight to downtime to social links, back to another kidnapping mystery, dungeon fight, downtime social links, the plot twists and great character writing keep you going back. The music is composed by Shoji Meguro, who originally composed the music for Persona 4 and Persona 3, and the rest of the Shin Megami Tensei series. His inclusion to this project gives this series a huge advantage in the music department. Shoji Meguro likes to experiment with rock, rap, hip-hop, R&B, electronic, and jazz. The music track to Persona 4 is mostly considered of jazz, electronica, and quite a bit of rock. The Persona series music has some of the most memorable themes in years. Even the new songs added for the OP and the endings match the franchise perfectly because of course, they were composed by Shoji Meguro. The music of this game is spread out and timed perfectly for boss battles, social link emotional moments, and normal socializing scenes. There is simply nothing like it. This being an adaption gives this a huge advantage in this department. Again, in this area, due to the great source the anime comes from, the overall presentation of this show is fantastic. Everything in this show has its own style and looks completely unique. You know instantly where these characters come from when you get a look at them. The strong Persona character designs match the campy story of this show and the stylish music. Although it does contain its problems, 
The Persona combat is great in its own right, but the awkward shots of main characters standing around really kills the impact of all the danger that these fights have. They control them somewhat like Digimon, unlike the game where the Personas made them somewhat superhuman and they participate in direct combat, the Personas enhancing their physical abilities. The shot cuts to the main character and his friends standing around is very off-putting. This is the main change that was put in this adaption. Although it's a serious issue and many fans of the video games will be put off by it, the main focus of the story is not combat. It's about the characters and the social links and will never bother 9% of the viewers watching it. Persona 4 The Animation is one of the greatest video game adaptions made to date. Even with a few changes such as the combat. Also, all the added humor and personality to the main character give it a somewhat new feel to those who have played the game. And for those who haven't played the game, it's a great replacement if you want to get into the story of Persona 4. And these stories will lead into Persona 4 Arena, which is a direct sequel to Persona 3 and 4. This franchise is a perfect example of what I like in Japanese storytelling. There's just enough madness, hilarity, character development, and action to create one of the most memorable franchises I have had the pleasure to play and watch. Thank you for listening and watching our review. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Gaming Epic channel, and I will see you next time.